Hey, and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. Please grab your copy of Carl Goes to London Islands and flip over to page 37. We're going to be looking at Ilpai Islands. Today there is an artist's open studios. This only happens uh, three weekends a year, so we're very lucky to be here today. And I've been selling this book, Carl Goes to London Islands, and some other lovely city guides. If you want to have a look at those, you can go to carlgoes.com. Otherwise, stay tuned and we're going to have a look at the open artist studio here on Eel Pie Island today. So to get onto Eel Pie Island, you need to go over this lovely bridge over the River Thames. So coming from Twickenham, you come up and over this bridge and as you can see today, it's been decorated beautifully with some flags, especially for the artist's open studios. At the top of this bridge, which I should say it's quite a steep bridge, it's very nice to take a moment and just have a look at the view. So on this side we've got Twickenham, an ice cream van, there's some free parking there. And on this side, Eelpie Island. You will notice in this video that it was quite busy because of the open weekend. There is only three of them a year, as I mentioned, so local residents are keen to come and have a look at the island when they can. So this particular road is open all the time and there is this main path that goes through the island, um, mostly because there's a few business on the island and also because there is the rowing club. But as you get to the bottom of the um, bridge you come through this very leafy green area and mostly here is I think people's homes. Now this part was quite a long walk actually because we're going almost all the way to the other side of the island to get to the artists open studios. So about halfway along you can buy beer and wine and other lovely cold drinks and on the other side here we have the uh, Eel Pie Museum stand. As you can see the residents have really gone to town decorating their front gardens. There is the turn off for the rowing club and if you continue this way Oh, let's just stop and smell the roses On any other day this red door would be closed but today the ominous red door is open so this leads to a dry dock and where all the artist studios are. So as you can see when you come in here, you've got this boat on hard standing and this is the beginning of the artist open studio. We've got some artists showing their work here right at the beginning. It's really nice to see the art in amongst all the boaty stuff. Makes me very excited. And there's all beautiful items scattered around and sort of the whole of this section really has become like a large sort of living art piece because people have got the freedom to add to and develop different areas in whatever way they want really. I love this artist, she does uh, mosaics mostly. She also paints and bubbies. She has the front of her area is decorated with a significant number of ducks. 
uh, which made me very happy. See how many ducks you can count. Well, I'm going to show you a little peek through the doorway into her studio, but so that I don't give away all the magic, I'm going to not show you too much of the artist's work. You'll have to come and visit if you want to see it. So this is the first lady with a flower pot. This is Lady Grass. Ah, this lady has a lovely studio as well. I had a look inside, definitely worth a visit. Uh, this is a radio, Trevor Bayliss, who invented the wind-up radio, lived on this island until unfortunately he died very recently. And here we have uh, Lady Ivy. Miss Ivy is a very beautiful woman. Um, here we have the ceramics. I love a bit of pottery, so I was well up for that. And just all the plants here are so very pretty. You'll notice I zoom in on a few flowers and plants as we go along. These are my favourite. I think they look like fairy dresses. And here we have the next studio. Some more lovely flowers. Some more nice pots. another studio. I think this lady does a lot of work with um, pieces of clocks. Ah, and the beautiful Viking woman. Who could live without her? And so, as we continue down here, you've got a choice. You can take the left or the right. Two slightly different journeys to the same place. Unfortunately today you have no choice, we're going to the right. But don't worry, I will take you back towards the left a little later. And this lady doesn't have a, a flower pot head so she doesn't count. But as we come through here, this is where you can go if you've got your tea from the cafe, maybe a cake or some lunch, you can come through here and sit down and have a nice ponder of life. And I always think that this area looks like where a fairy would get married. Another radio there. Ah, and here we have Lady Fern, my favourite of all the uh, flower pot head ladies. and the Buddha. So if you come out of that and go left, you come up here and see the robots and this lovely little kitty. There's quite a lot of cats on this island and they all seem to be in some way related to one another. So that's what's up that way. And then if we turn around and come back a little, we can see up into this boat studio. And then if you'd come the uh, left side, you'd be coming down this way. So as I say, they both lead to the same place. And um, this is where we were. So we have the tea and coffee over here, Pims, uh, the, the art with a strong pineapple theme. And there's Sasha, the author of Carl Goes to London Islands, along with many other fantastic um, city guide titles. And uh, we had a vice, so we set up this beautiful display with all the colourful books. And then this is just basically was opposite from where we were on our stand. And if we go round the corner, past this lovely spiky plant and these duckies, 
we go straight down here we get to the pottery shed. So you can see here we are at the complete opposite end of the island. You can see all the boats and the water and we have a key wall. I wonder if she keeps her spare key there and knows exactly which one it is. It would be quite daring to do that. Then we have some more pottery down here. And I love this chair boat idea. Very, very snazzy. And there's me pulling some faces at you in this old mirror. Now, the last thing I thought we ought to do is show you it from the water. So this is Ilpai Island we're approaching on our boat. And uh, we go all the way around the outside. So you can get a good idea of what it looks like from the outside as well. I think I'm going to leave it over to Seb now to play us some music while we boat around the outside of the Ilpai Island.
Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to join us again, you can click subscribe down below and join us again on this narrowboat adventure. If you would like to, you can find me on Facebook at this narrowboat adventure. And if you'd like to get your copy of Carl Goes to London Islands, you can go to carlgoes.com. There'll be a link in the description. Bye. <laughs>